to our channel. Yes, guys, you're welcome. So today is a road trip day. We are about traveling from Enugu State to Benin. Yes, we are currently at Enugu Portakot Expressway and we are heading to Benin City in Edo State. So we decided to carry you guys along with us on today's trip. So how long does this trip take on a normal uh, four day? Four hours, four hours, 30 minutes. We pray we don't meet much hold up along the way. Yeah, and this is a Sunday morning, so we actually opted to travel this Sunday morning, hoping that we can pass that Niger Bridge before, you know, hold up starts building up around the axis. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be stopping by the second Niger Bridge just to see an update on the construction work, see if there's any difference from the last time we were there. So we'll stop by Niger Bridge. But altogether, it shouldn't take us more than 4 hours, 30 uh, minutes. Uh, yeah. So the time as at now is about 8.30. So let's see where we get to be in. So guys, if you are new on our channel, do well to click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so when we upload our road trips like this, you get to see it. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. So guys, we don't want this video to be too long. We'll just be giving you updates as we get to different points. So guys, let's drive. The road. <laughs> so guys, we are actually using the Enugu Port Express because uh, we're trying to divert to four corners basically so we can use the four corner axis because the major road from Enugu to Ninth Man is still very bad. Uh, yeah, that's not been fixed yet, so I don't even want to try it. Uh, so, Galant is very, 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 very bad. So, we're using this Enugu Port Express through four corners down to Woody and uh, Let's see how it goes. So enjoy this ride with us. Um, the last time I used the road, it was fair enough. Aside uh, the entrance into Anambra State, or Capri, precisely, that was a bit very bad. And what was going on the last time I used there, and the traffic there was quite much. So guys, we are approaching four corners now. Where we will do. The turn towards Udi is the Portacot Express. Straight down is Abia, Umwa here. After Obu, Umwa here, you get to a bar. Then you head straight to Portacot. So but we're making a turn now. The turn to our left is taking you to Esut, Agbani Campus. That's in Ubu State University. And uh, the turn to our right is four corners so we have made a turn now to our right so this is four corners road so far like I said the road is fair so far so good so guys nice view of four corners great view I must say Looking beautiful, everywhere is so green. Like I said, if you are not familiar with four corners, you need to drive with extreme care and uh, at a very low speed. So, and um, just to mention, this road is uh, trailers are not allowed, tippers are not allowed, big vehicles literally are not allowed on this. So there's a barricade we passed, I think there's another one at the front, we'll be seeing um, shortly. So they are not allowed on this road. It's purely just for smaller cars and buses, just like that. So trailers don't use this road. There was a time the Enugu Usuka road through Abakpa was like that until they removed the barricade. It was literally like that before for some time. As you can see, you can see the sign of the road. You can see to show you that you are about to have some copyrights. So. Having a sharp turn. So at this point, you have to step down totally because the turn is very curvy. Yeah. So, 
guys, that is it for four corners. Let's keep it going. So guys, this is the newly constructed part of the Onichino Highway, uh, just before Oji River. Just before Oji River. So we'll be entering Oji River very soon. This road was done this year. I can't get the mod precisely. I think we did an upload on that actually, so you can check our video catalog for that video precisely by the time the work was going on. So it's completed though we're already seeing some little little potholes here and there driving in from Nanchi. Driving in from Nanchi. So but yeah, this is the road. <laughs> much to say about it's just before Oji River so they did it into Oji and even after Oji I think now till you get to the Amansi border the road is quite uh, very good it's after Amansi around the UDC axis that the road is very 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 bad so this is what Oji looks like So this is Oji River where we have the leprosy home and uh, we probably have the police detective college in Oji River. Oji River is not basically for those two, um, those two institutions that are here. The Leprosy Home and uh, the Police Detective uh, College that is here. So this is Oji. All of these ports was very bad as at last year. But all has been done this year. So let's keep it going. So our next stop will be Orca. So guys, we are about entering Anambra State. Yeah, we are living in Ugu now. We are just at the border at the old road between Enugu and uh, Anambra. Anambra State. So you can see it written on that green signboard. Welcome to Anambra State. Yeah, so uh, I think now the time is about 9.48. So we spent about an hour 15 minutes, an hour 18 minutes average from Inuzu to the border town here in Anambra. Yeah, we had some traffic along the path. So yeah, like I said, my last trip, um, entrance to our car was bad. And I also noticed that the second uh, flyover inside our car uh, is also bad. What do I mean? There's already a very big space in between those demarcations on top of the bridge. So when we get there, vehicles literally slows down to ground zero before they can pass through that point. So I think... Uh, is an issue that needs to be addressed urgently. Because yeah, I think the ICC is along this part now, just in front. Yes, ICC is along this part. So, as you can see, like I said, the entrance into a car is bad. Now, till we get to after Unisic gates before we see a good spot, all of these spots are bad. But though this area has been sand filled, 
uh, but still i believe you still notice that it's it's bad so by the time the rain keeps falling like this i believe it will wash away the sand you reserve some feeding in the road so guys we actually head back by traffic and uh, as you can see boys are already here taking advantage of the moment to be asking for money it's normal with nigeria they've not done they've not done anything but they will always ask for money in fact i think it would have been better they left this road the way it was initially before coming to sand feel it because it looks worse compared to what it was before they came to say they want to walk on the road so it's quite it looks worse because this is a road i i used very well last month and i think i used it about three times last month before they came to say they want to walk on it so quite poor we have been on that spot for a while now just directly opposite the unisic uh, gate so that is it guys for as many of you that are traveling um, I think I would have just used the old the old road, the new road rather. I would have diverted with those people because even though the entrance to that part is bad, but at least I've just veered it and go your way without having to experience much traffic. And the sad thing about all of these bad spots we are experiencing, you still find military personnel, you still find police, you still find um, road safety, all of them causing traffic still on this road so it's quite it's quite sad this now is being caused by a police checkpoint you know, the ICC is just by our left hand side uh, let me show you the ICC yeah, let me tint the camera a bit I believe you can see it yeah this is the international Conference Center in Oka. So, yeah, this is it. This is the first flyover in Oka that we are using now. We are out of Oka now. So, like I said, we'll be noticing the stuff I talked about with the first spot. Even this is beginning to even separate. I think they really need some serious maintenance to be done on this bridge. So let's get on the second flyover in the city of Orca. Yeah, you have to step down very well. of this trailer okay so this part of the road is still very bad to the last bridge so said we'll be using the down so we can join the good part of the on nature road so guys joining from here
let's head straight to Onicha. So guys, we are live in Onicha. Yes, this is one thing I love so much that they've done around here. The building material market uh, junction has been barricaded. So the traffic around here before used to be very crazy. But since they blocked the turn, the U-turn around here, it has been helping traffic. So it has been a free flow ever since. So we're just passing the building material market now towards the Head Bridge. We'll pass up the Head Bridge. said in introductory video we'll be doing a stop at the second idea bridge to just give you guys um, an update if there's any new updates different from the last time we visited so we'll be checking out the second idea bridge and then uh, we'll be using the Antani road to climb into the bridge This is on the char, the ever busy on the char. The commercial hub of the entire southeast is where we are now. So if you are from on do well to rep your location. Let's know if you are based here. Let's know if you are from here and which area are you from. So guys, we are live at the first Niger bridge yes so we actually checked out the second Niger bridge just to see what has changed we saw a bit of changes here and there but then we're going to include that in a new video we don't want this video to become too lengthy so we're going to drop a link to that video in this one so you can click on it and see what the new Niger bridge looks like in October but this is the first Niger bridge thank god we were able to get here before the hold up so still on our way to Benin City yeah just to mention I think I'm observing some changes I was on this bridge about uh, two weeks ago yeah so I'm just observing they've marked the bridge now yes, <laughs> the match was not the mark was not there uh, initially so it's good to the see they've, mark is... they've marked it now so that's good uh, but then I, I, I think I'm tempted to draw a difference between this and the new bridge so but don't worry like she said an update on the new bridge will be coming up on the channel so you just look out for it and if you have not subscribed please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video so guys ninja bridge entry into delta state so we'll be in asaba shortly and from asaba we'll go to Abo. from Abo, we'll take it down to benin so let's go it's good to know that the bridge is totally free today being yes. <laughs> uh, i'm surprised that it's so free so that means sunday is a best is a good day to Travel. Well, some days we just do look very frustrating. This is welcome to Delta State. Yeah. So we're officially in Delta State. Yeah, officially in Delta State. We've left the south east into the south south zone. You know, they say there's nothing like south south. <laughs> But then it still remains our geopolitical zones in Nigeria, so we have to still stick by that. So, all right, guys, let's keep going. This is Asaba, so our next stop will be Agbo, then we'll take it to Benin. So, let's ride together. So, guys, we are at Koka Junction, we are the ongoing construction of the um, flyover in Asaba. Is currently going on. Yeah, the ever busy Coca Junction. 
we did a video on this when the project newly kick started last year and uh, this is just to show you how far they have gone as you can see they've done the joining already it's just uh, it's just for them to do some smoothing work around this end part as here we are in Asaba approaching summits right so this summit we are going to the summit yeah. so we are approaching the summit junction leading to shop right Asaba so like I said after Asaba next stop will be So guys, we are in Agbo. We are in Agbo now. So this is Agbo, one of the major cities in Delta State. Uh, so they, here they used to have the College of Education, Agbo. I think it's now University of Delta State. How did they call that thing? Yes. Uh, so it's now University of Delta State, kind of inside the town. So. It's just a major road. Inside is quite very busy, but we're not about to drive inside the town today. So we're just passing by on the highway. So that is Agbo. Agbo is close to the border town of uh, Edo State, Nigeria. That's Oga. So shortly we'll be entering Edo State. September, October. So we'll be dropping that update for you guys just like we said before. If you have joined us on this trip, thank, thank you, you very much. We do appreciate you for supporting us always. And uh, if this is your first time on our channel, please don't fail to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. For my Bene people, we are in your town. So send us a DM and come and flex us in your city. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate you. We'll catch you in our next video. Bye. Bye.